Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Kim Fidi. I am Dr. Malada Sharma, a retired professor of St. Pius 10th degree and PG college for women Hyderabad. Using the platform Chemphili, I am going to teach different topics of all branches of chemistry by adopting a self-designed innovative teaching methodology, that is teaching chemistry through riddles. For this video number 3, the riddle is framed on an important concept of chemistry from ionic equilibria chapter with special emphasis to its application in explaining different observations and facts. The primary objective for making this series of videos is to generate interest in chemistry among the students and making a wider spread of this teaching learning model for the benefit of the students across the globe. Hope I'll receive the support and encouragement from the viewers to fulfill my objective. Now let's start riddle number 3. I am light green, but air makes me deep brown. My combination with my friend nitrate anion makes a wonderful circular ring. Water can dissolve me, but fails to make a clear solution without acid. Now let's see the questions. The primary question is, who am I? The other questions are, why does air make me brown? Third question, what is the composition of this circular ring? Fourth question, why water alone cannot make a clear solution of me? Now guess the answer of primary question. The primary question is, who am I? Let's see the answer. It is ferrous sulfate. This riddle is framed on the concept of salt hydrolysis. Now, what is salt hydrolysis? We know that salts are formed by the neutralization reaction between acid and alkali. So, it is expected that all solution should be neutral. That means pH should be 7. The aqueous solution of salt of strong acid and strong base, say for example sodium chloride, is neutral. pH is 7. But the aqueous solution of the salt of strong acid and weak base is not neutral. It is acidic. pH is less than 7. Example, ammonium chloride. Similarly, aqueous solution of the salt of weak acid and strong base, say for example, sodium acetate is alkaline. pH will be greater than 7. When both the acid and alkali are weak, the resulting solution may be acidic or alkaline depending upon their relative strength. Now, the salt hydrolysis, therefore, it is the reverse of neutralization reaction where salt reacts with water and giving back acid and alkali. In salt hydrolysis, water reacts with the ion or ions of the salt and form either weak acid or weak base or both weak acid and weak base. Let us see the different cases. Number one, salt of weak acid and strong base. Say for example, sodium acetate. It is the salt of weak acetic acid and strong sodium hydroxide. Now, this salt hydrolysis of this salt that is Sodium acetate, which is the reverse of this neutralization reaction, it forms the weak acetic acid and sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide undergoes complete ionization, giving hydroxyl ion, and the solution becomes alkaline. 
Now, what exactly happened in salt hydrolysis? See, this acetic acid is a weak acid. After dissociation, it forms acetate ion and hydrogen ion. The acetate ion, which is formed by the dissociation of weak acetic acid, is the conjugate part of this weak acid. And as the acid is weak, this conjugate part is strong. This is called strong conjugate base. Similarly, sodium hydroxide ionizes to sodium ion and hydroxyl ion. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. So, its conjugate acid is weak. You remember, in salt hydrolysis, the strong conjugate part reacts with water to form the acetic acid here because here water is reacting with acetate ion and hydroxyl ion and here it is anionic hydrolysis. Now, number two, salt of strong acid and weak base. Say for example, ammonium chloride. Okay. So, by salt hydrolysis, which is the reverse of neutralization reaction, with base ammonium hydroxide is formed and strong acid hydrochloric acid is formed, which undergoes complete ionization and the solution is acidic. Here what happens? Ammonium hydroxide is weak base, so its conjugate part, ammonium cation, is a strong conjugate acid. Hydrochloric acid is strong acid, its conjugate part, chloride ion, is a weak conjugate base. So, this strong conjugate acid, that is ammonium cation, reacts with water and form ammonium hydroxide and hydrogen ion. This is cationic hydrolysis. So, the solution is acidic. Now, third case, salt of strong acid and strong base. Say, for example, sodium chloride. Now, sodium chloride is a salt of strong base sodium hydroxide and strong acid hydrochloric acid. So, the Conjugate part from both acid and alkali are weak. As the conjugate parts are weak, so no salt hydrolysis occurs and the solution is neutral. Now, fourth case, salt of weak acid and weak base. Say, for example, ammonium acetate. Ammonium acetate is a salt of weak acetic acid. And weak base ammonium hydroxide. Now what happened? Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. So after dissociation it forms ammonium cation which is a strong conjugate acid. Similarly, acetic acid is a weak acid. After dissociation it forms the acetate ion which is a strong conjugate base. Both the strong conjugate part reacts with water and form weak base ammonium hydroxide and weak acid acetic acid. So, solution will be acidic or alkaline that depends on the strength of this acid and alkali. Therefore, pH of the salt solution depends on the pK. pK means minus log of dissociation constant. pK values of the acid and base. When pK is less than pKb, pK is less means the dissociation constant of acid is more. Okay? So, thus more compared to dissociation constant of base. So, the solution will be acidic. When pKb is less than pKa, that means dissociation constant of base is more than dissociation constant of acid, solution will be basic.
when the pka is equal to pkb the solution will be neutral now coming to the other questions second question was why does ar make me brown c electronic configuration of iron is 3d6 4s2 so ferrous iron fe2 plus the configuration will be 3d6 in the outermost order 3d6 configuration now in ferric iron one more electron is removed from the d orbital so the configuration of the d orbital will be 3d5 that is half filled half filled orbitals are always more stable therefore ferric iron is more stable than ferrous iron therefore ferric iron is readily oxidized to ferric therefore ferrous iron is readily oxidized to ferric iron by aerial oxidation so ferrous sulfate which is light green it get oxidized to ferric iron in presence of air which is deep brown in color now third question what is the composition of the circular ring mentioned in the riddle is brown ring test is the conformatory test for nitrate ion where in aqueous solution of nitrate salt you have to add freshly prepared excess ferrous sulfate freshly prepared otherwise ferrous will be converted to ferric and then you have to add concentrated sulfuric acid drop wise by keeping the test tube in inclined position then a wonderful brown ring is formed at the junction of the two liquids now the composition of this brown ring is it is a complex compound the name is penta aqua nitrosyl iron sulfate here what happened nitrate ion with sulfuric acid and ferrous sulfate form this nitric oxide this nitric oxide reacts with this hexa aqua iron sulfate and form this complex which is the brown ring now the last question is why water alone cannot make a clear solution of me ferrous sulfate is a salt of ferrous hydroxide which is a weak base and sulfuric acid which is a strong acid okay so after salt hydrolysis that is the reverse reaction of neutralization ferrous sulfate reacts with water it gives back ferrous hydroxide and sulfuric acid and obviously solution will be acidic here what happened ferrous ion why ferrous ion because the ferrous hydroxide is a weak base its strong conjugate part is ferrous ion the ferrous ion is the strong conjugate acid so this strong conjugate part reacts with water and form the ferrous hydroxide and hydrogen ion therefore to dissolve this ferrous hydroxide you have to add little acid or to make a clear solution you have to add little acid so this was the riddle number 3 your comments and suggestions will be highly appreciated